Product flow. The flow of the food describes what happens to food from the time it enters your workplace until it is served to customers. Food flow refers to the path from receiving through storing, preparing, cooking, holding, serving, cooling, and reheating that food follows in the food service operation. Basics of food safety and food production flow. Keep things clean and sanitize. Practice good personal cleanliness. Wash hands truly and frequently. Minimize the time food spends in the temperature danger zone. Purchasing. Effective purchasing paves the way for a successful food service operation. Purchasing is a highly skilled activity requiring knowledge of products and market conditions. Purchasing involves obtaining the necessary foods in the right quantity of the best quality at the right time in the right place and for the most economical price. A quality control program in a food establishment should ensure that only food which meet written specifications are purchased from reputable vendors. The best purchaser considers price, supply, and demand transportation and storage costs before placing an order. Main objectives of an effective purchasing program. First, buy the product that is best suited for the job. Second, buy the proper quantity of the item. Third, pay the right price for the item. And lastly, deal with only repeatable and dependable suppliers. Guidelines on the characteristics of a product. First, quality grade. Second, weight. Third, count. Fourth, contents. Five, packaging. There are four purchasing guidelines. First is understand regulations for specific foods. Second is visit approved vendors to ensure that they maintain clean warehouses. Third is observe delivery vehicles to ensure that they are clean and temperature controlled. Fourth is use written product specifications to ensure that the vendors know what is to be ordered. Receiving. Strict procedures should be followed when foods are received. All foods should be checked for proper conditions as it is received in the facility. When a delivery is made, it should be checked for both quality and quantity. Food contaminated with pathogenic microorganisms, chemicals, and foreign matters may compromise food safety. Food premises should not accept food unknown or suspect to be contaminated with these substances. Foods need to be received or stored as soon as possible. The stuff of the food service establishment should be checking for temperatures and conditions in of incoming foods. First is all refrigerated foods should be put away quickly to prevent time and temperature abuse. Second is frozen foods should not have large ice crystals be discolored and dried out. Third is canned goods should have labels no swelling and flood seams, rust or dents. Fourth is never accept home canned foods because of the risk of botulism. Five is obtain food from safe and approved resources. And lastly is inspect before you accept. 
receiving standard operating procedures. Sight, touch, smell. Storing. Food starts to deteriorate as soon as the crop is harvested or animal is slaughtered. The rate of deterioration is related to the growth of spoilage bacteria and mold. Hence, food should be stored under the right environmental conditions, suitable temperature, humidity, lighting, atmosphere to minimize the growth of microorganisms and to prevent food from becoming unsafe and unsuitable during their expected shelf lives. There are three types of storage. First is refrigeration, second is freezing, and third is dry. First is all food chemicals and supplies should be stored in a matter that ensures quality and maximizes safe of the food serves to residents. Second is all canned food and dry ingredients are stored in designated area. Third is food should not be stored in areas such as restrooms, furnace rooms, stairwells, or hallways. Fourth is food should be stored off the floor and in closed containers. Five is storage areas should be well ventilated and pest free. And the six is store pesticides and chemicals away from the food handling and storage areas and must be stored in original labeled containers. food in a refrigerator and never at room temperature. Second, thaw food needed for immediate service under potable running water. Third, prepare the product within 4 hours of thawing. Avoid overcooking. Second, reduce holding time of foods before serving by using batch cooking. Third, do not use hot holding equipment to cook or heat foods. Fourth, expose food ingredients to room temperature for two hours or less. Our food items should be returned to the refrigerator. Fifth, total time of food at room temperature shall not exceed four hours. Six, prepare products that will not be cooked or reheated away from other products. Place cold food in pans or plates first and never directly on ice thus exceptions are whole fruits and vegetables that will be washed after holding. Ice used on display should be self-draining, wash and sanitize three pans after each use. Steer foods to cool them faster and more evenly. Serving Guidelines Clean the area on and around the service line using warm soapy water and clean cloth. 
sanitize the area on and around the service line using an approved sanitizer. Wipe down area before service begins and as needed throughout the service. Cloth used for cleaning food spill should not be used for anything else. Store utensils properly with the handles to keep hands away from the food item. Clean and sanitize utensils before using them and use separate utensils for each food item. Handle glassware and dishes properly. Hold flatware and utensils. Reheating Guidelines Reheat in small quantities. Use preheated ingredient. Steer foods frequently. Remove leftover food from the freezer or refrigerator. Serve the food immediately or place the food in a steam table or in a preheated hot cart and recheck temperature. Check the temperature of the food before serving if the food has been held. Packaging Guidelines Packaging materials should not endanger the safety and suitability of the food in contact with them. Packaging materials should be suitable for the food to be packed, non-toxic, durable, and clean. Chemicals from packaging materials should not migrate into the food, and if migration occur, there should be no non-toxic effect to consumers. Packaging materials may contaminate food if they are not clean. Food should be kept in their original packages and stored in clean areas where they are not exposed to risks and contamination. Food product flow. Purchasing, receiving, storing.